Hi, I'm Emily Laird. It's February 21st, and this is my embodiment film. This film will explain the impact of the investigation of embodiment on my personal movement practice. At this point, my definition of embodiment isn't completely solidified, but I feel that embodiment helps define the relationship between the mind and the body and how they affect each other, and also sensory and life experiences and how those affect our knowledge and then in turn our whole self. So, I have learned that the embody that the body experiences things as a whole. There's again there's not a separation between the mind and the body. So, this understanding has allowed me to move with my entire body in mind. So, for example, I used to do movements that were just disconnected from the rest of the body, like I could move my arm up but not realize the effect that I would have on my opposite leg. But now that I have found that one part of the body moving affects the entire part of the rest of the body, I feel that I can have a better understanding of how to move using my entire body and knowing that if I move my head, how does that affect my other leg? So, about four weeks ago, I tore three ligaments in my ankle. So this injury has kind of forced me to move in a different way. So with my current understanding of embodiment, I have learned to move, to move in ways that compensate for my ankle. So prior to this injury, I was like able to move kind of subconsciously. You know how you just move through movement and not necessarily think about each thing that you're doing. But now that I'm in this recovery period, I have to always be aware of my entire body and knowing how if I move my right arm, how it's going to affect my injured ankle and how I'm going to have to protect it in a way. So I feel that my understanding of the body as a whole and how moving one part affects the other parts of the body has influenced my movement in a way that I can help protect my injured part.